All right, uh, I got the Scorpion backup guard installed. Let's see, I'm gonna just check the end of my flight. If I go below five volts through my telemetry, uh, I don't have the logging turned on right now, so I'm just gonna be able to check the min and you know the minimum and maximum throughout the flight. So hopefully the minimum doesn't go below five volts, which would be nice. Because sometimes uh, with the stock back on the hobby, uh, the hobby wing back on the X5, it uh, tends to drop down to as low as 3.6 sometimes, which is scary. So let's see how it goes this time.
backup guard. It's working better than the capacitors I had. It's hard to say because a lot of the time the capacitors would keep the voltage up above 4.5 or so. Today, the Scorpion guard did its job, but not much better than my capacitors because it's only at 4.7. So it really probably kept it above most of the time. But now that I know that it's working and I can kind of trust it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and enable the uh, data logging, which previously um, the data logging seemed to have caused more spikes in low voltage on the receiver. I guess because it had to transmit more from the telemetry module. I, I really don't know. I'm just assuming, but um, here I'll pop the canopy. And I'll show the plug actually. Okay. So there it is. The uh, it's just loosely wired in for right now, but um, that's the Scorpion backup guard right there, uh, right in front of the speed controller, and uh, it does pretty good for the, the uh, center of gravity. It's a little bit front heavy now, but uh, no, that's not too bad. I'd rather be slightly front heavy than rear heavy, I guess, but uh, it's working out. So I, I think this Scorpion guard thing, uh, short of getting a separate back and installing it that way, uh, it's a good good patch job for the problem I was having but I think it'd be better if I get a separate back eventually got one at the house I've just been lazy to install it thanks for watching